Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, I'm gonna give you more than 20 tips to do your alterations in a beautiful way. But before we go, I wanted to say thank you for all the nice reception that our first e-course is having. So let's go! When you are making a jeans patch, try to find the color that is exactly the same as your jeans. That way the color will blend in better when you do the top stitch. Sometimes you will have to use more than one color for the most worn out parts, but for the most part you can use just one thread with a short stitch and it will be amazing. Great results. When you are going to hem a pair of pants, make sure to fold it very well through the natural crease and put it over your table. Make sure that the crease and the seams are very well aligned before marking and cutting both legs together. That way you will be sure that both legs in your pants will be the same length and totally symmetrical. What happens is that a lot of pants comes with one leg longer than the other, one leg wider than the other. That's normal, that's happened all the time. Don't measure from the bottom up as very frequently pants come with a leg different than the other, either wider, longer, crooked, or all of them at the same time. To quickly open your chain stitch, just insert a little bit of your blades to cut a few stitches and pull it out and that's it. Wait, don't throw your scraps when you shorten our jeans. Besides doing very nice DIYs, you can use the Euro hems as well to fix old pants that has lost the original hem. For example, oh, this one is so good. Oh no, this one is a little small. You can you know, keep looking and you will find some good hem. This one is not bad. It looks really similar to the original one. And uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do is just to open use it and put it back in my original hem so i'm gonna cut the original in this case it has like a kind of hole and i'm gonna use my own hem to cover up and patch up that hole and then i'm gonna sew the original hem on i have a lot of videos showing you how to do a euro hem i just wanted to give you another perspective or how to fix a pair of pants using an old jeans hem. Here you go, it looks exactly like the original and let me show you the other part. Here you go, they look exactly like the original. Sometimes it's easier to hide than fix. For example, this blouse has a hole and my customer told me, oh, don't do too much, just hide it. Still, I'm gonna use a little bit of mesh and glue it and sew it all around. You know, just it doesn't look too ugly, but pretty much what my customer wanted is just to make a little pleat to hide that hole and that's it. Nobody will really notice. I will do it in the other side though, so the both sides looks the same. And here you go, the result. It looks fantastic. Nobody will see anything. Great. Sometimes you can't absolutely sew beyond one specific point. In that case, you are gonna place a pin across the seam and that will tell you that you cannot really do anything else from this point down. This occurs when the garment fit very well until one point and then gets too big or either too small, in that case too big. Don't trust that you will remember to not go beyond that point because it's just natural to go to zero in a gradual way. So that brings our next one. If you want to take in waist at the back, make sure that you are making a nice curve. Don't ever make a steep curve even if your customer has a bigger derriere. 
Instead, help your care with the help of the darts. This is something that is happening frequently after we are using high-rise pans. Use your hammer to flatten thick layers of material. That way you will be able to sew way easier. Get yourself a leather stitcher machine so you can sew the zippers on boot. Just kidding. To sew the zipper of boots is a really hard job that I do not recommend to anybody. But anyways, here you go the tips. If you want to work with leather, better use real leather to work. Otherwise, the job is not that good as it is in this one. I don't know if you can see it. I did my best, but really, I like to use this machine because it has a long arm that allows me to go in difficult places and I can sew a lot of things including zippers and patches inside pockets and other things. Here you go. They look good, right? And you know what? The best advice I can give you is to relax. I'm giving you all those tips so your brain can have all those good juices with the good job you do. But if that will stress you out, so many details, then don't do them. Relax, just do what you can. When you are closing back your garment after an alteration, Make sure to try to match the original seams. That way your alteration will look way better. So in this case, for example, I'm closing a waistband on a jeans and I'm trying to align the horizontal lines that were made before. So when I do the top stitch, it will look more natural. It will look way better. I like to keep a stash of rolls of different bias, like um, in one and a half inches. I have it in different colors. So I use it for a lot of uses, but my main one is to lengthen the pants. So I just let out and then I put it and then I do the false hem and it looks really good. My customers are always happy and the results always look great. I'm finishing the waistband, but I'm having a hard time with the right color. So I'm just going to use the same thread that was attached when I open it, and I'm going to reuse it. Better to iron, but today I didn't. And the way to do it is you are going to thread on reverse your machine. You are going to go from the bottom to the top, and you are going to pull it after. You are going to pull it up, up, up and you are gonna put it back in your thread and now you can start stitching. For the stitching, I'm gonna go back a little bit and then I'm gonna go forth. And I will keep in mind, please don't look at my pins. Oh, I know, I know, I have to do a new one, but okay. So keep in mind where your knot is because sometimes you cannot really make the whole line. I did it this time because I took more than four inches in that waist and this is why I could do it, but otherwise you can't. But you know, when you can do it, it looks fantastic. Use the original thread to find the right color. Choose your battles. This comes to any alteration you are going to do. Sometimes the right job is not the best in the practical ways. This dress, for example, is made out of thin knit in two layers. I always shorten the strap for these customers as she has very short torso. But for this one, I choose to do it in a plain way, sewing together the two layers of fabric instead of doing step by step as I have shown you in other videos. Don't insist on investing the double of resources on a job that probably won't look better. When you count, for example, in this case, for the seam allowance you have to leave and the fact that the knit can lose its shape, really that wouldn't be a good alternative. Use this way with thin materials only. Thicker materials will look really bulky and untidy. Here you go. 
It looks really good. Look it inside. All clean and nice. When you are going to open a flat fill, make sure to use pins right away before doing anything else. The problem with the flat fills, mostly with the jeans when you are taking back, is that it can move. Everything can be moved and then the pockets will look horrible. When you have it like that, then you can mark and do everything. Remember that what happened with the flat fill is that you have the two part of the material and when you open, they can just split. And after you have them separate like that, you really cannot make it together in the same way that it was before. Anyways, if that happened to you, try to follow the same way by putting together the marks of the stitches, like at the little hole the stitches made, you put them together one with the other and then you might be able to save it in some way. But just use your pins and you will be okay. When you are closing back an alteration and it has a top stitch, make sure to try to use the same kind of stitch that it was before. And when you try to start, try to go over the original stitch in the same way it was, go back a little bit and then go forth and try to go in the same holes. It's not a big deal, but when you do it this way, the finished result will look way better. When you finish, do exactly the same. Try to finish in the same place. Go a little bit forward and a little bit back. And this is the result. Still, you will see the double stitches like a little bit thicker at that point, but it will look way better. This is another example that my colleague did with this jumper. When you want to shorten the sleeve on a jacket, place your pins of the measurement on the inside. If you don't want to have the long tails, just put it inside of the same search using a needle. That way it looks clean and well finished. When you have to sew a very thick material, try to use your hands, like a go with the hand wheel. Sometimes even I use my two hands. But uh, this is very important because sometimes when you have very thick material, then it's very hard because sometimes the needle, the thread breaks and this way is safer. If you wanna sew other kind of materials like leather, try to use the proper needle. In that case, I'm gonna use a 18 needle of leather. And of course, I'm gonna change as well the foot for a Teflon foot that will work better. And do not use a bobbin <laughs> to change your foot. And as I did before, I sew it over the last stitch and it looks really good. Another important tip when you are doing the top stitch on a patch is that you need to go exactly with the grain. That way you will hide way better the stitches. Here you go. Again, you cannot see the stitches on top, but if you see inside, you can see that we have a lot of stitches there. There you go. If you have a dress and the hem is uneven and you need to make that hem even, the best way to go is to take a ruler and measure from the floor up. Sometimes you have the tendency to put it on the table and measure from the waist down. Uh, that is not the worst idea, but the problem is that better is to pin it from the floor just because sometimes the person can lift the dress either at the front or at the side or at the back depending of the body shape. Here you go, this is the dress all nice and straight 
and these are a few of the tips that i have i always take all those things in count when i'm doing my alterations please let me know in the comment which of those tips you use the most if you like this video please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe share comment bye